For today's brides and grooms, making a big entrance is de rigueur. And often involves a fancy wedding rite. I think flashy cars is quite a growing trend with a lot of grooms. Um, especially in the day and age of Instagram, you're always trying to do one better. Asif Ali is the proud owner of one of Glasgow's premier chauffeur services, which has ferried hundreds of happy couples on their big day. I love cars. Uh, if you speak to anyone in my family, um, I've loved cars since I was a child. I've got about 60, 70 model cars. Um, they were in my room, but when I got married, uh, I was told that they, they had to go because it looked too much of a, a boy's room. When it comes to Asian weddings, everything has to be big. It has to be flash. They want the best, they want the biggest. So like the Rolls Royce and the Bentley, uh, they're probably the most popular. Asif's handsome fleet features the creme de la creme of the car world. From top range Rolls Royces and state of the art Bentleys to vintage classics and classy racers. We've got I think about four BMWs in at the moment and all the keys are the same. So you need to stand and unlock and see which one flashes and hope for the best. Today's job is a Scottish-Pakistani wedding being held at Air Racecourse. So the car we're in at the moment is the Rolls-Royce Phantom. Um, I've had this for about, what, six, seven years now. Um, it is a, a very expensive car. I don't think you can get anything better than a Rolls-Royce. The new one they've just brought out, that's about half a million now. I am quite hands-on, but I think it's because this is my baby. I've built it up from scratch, and I've always been hands-on. And when it comes to the cars, I'm a perfectionist. Everything has to be spot on. And when you're out doing one wedding, hopefully you come back with another two weddings. So it's all about, obviously, future business. The family have invited me in for some Dinner, it's nice when people offer you in. I know a few people here, like the doll players, the, the camera guys, the DJs, the caterers, even some other people that have done their weddings in the past as well. Normally, I'll probably be waiting maybe six, seven hours at least. It could be a little longer. It just depends on how long they take. 12, 13 hours later, you're still sitting there thinking, right, when do we go home? Asian weddings never run on times. So 